How's it going, folks? Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time, welcome to the channel. So what we're featuring here today is the update of the four-door or four-seater vamp. Um, this is the Tiger Force vamp. I have a couple pictures floating out there of what I thought or felt that might have been a finished product of this. Um, I... It was semi done when I took those pictures. I never made a video because I wasn't really satisfied with the with the product. Um, the 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 whole build seemed a little bit off. Um, I it, I put it on the shelf. I, I contemplated it, looked at it, and it just didn't necessarily screamed out, you know, vamp to me. Um, it had. The original contour lines and design of a Lamborghini Cheetah. Uh, the Lamborghini Cheetah is the actual vehicle that this, the body is based off of. Uh, this hyper pink color, that's, that was the original color of the vehicle itself. It was, I believe it was uh, advertised as a 112 scale um, vehicle but it, it was far from 112 uh it was more like a 114 scale even then i i like i had to expand the body uh lengthwise and uh, widthwise so in order for me to get the base of this vehicle um this is not gonna look like my green uh vamp my 112 scale uh vamp I'm pretty proud of that outcome. Uh, that's as close as I could get it to to a uh, a vamp, an original vamp. Um, this particular vehicle is gonna have some different lines. As you can tell, of course, the biggest difference is that uh, that extra row of seats back there. Uh, the vamp itself, I of course, I have to make sacrifices in order for me to get a four door vehicle. Um, the chassis itself, I don't want to compromise the chassis because it works so well. Uh, the RC vehicle itself that I use, um, I don't want to compromise that. But looking at the vamp, I did see a lot of space that I can tap into as far as being able to to extend that, that capacity. Uh, the figures themselves, they're not cut at the knees. They're not. They're they're full figures. Um, the original, again, going back to the original version of this, when, when I had it all painted, um, it didn't have enough headroom. Uh, it, it just, I, yeah, I could fit the figures in there, but they were cramped. Uh, they didn't look natural. Uh, so I did a little bit of, uh, extending the, the roof here. Uh, as you can see here, there is a couple of cuts and add-ons. Um, in order for me to get that headspace, uh, this figure, of course, Bazooka is one of the bigger figures, and then you have Duke, which is a little bit uh, smaller figure. Um, but now even Bazooka has good uh, headroom here. Um, outside, uh, going back to the the areas that I was gonna sacrifice, I knew there was a lot of space back here uh, between the fender and the actual end line of the body and then here as well so this space here can be compromised can be shortened and also this space here can be drawn back um and that's what i did here uh, this is somewhat minimal and then back here you, i i left just enough uh material for the body um that it shows a body and then the fender so I did want to leave just a tiny bit. Um, I was pushing the line here, but I did want to leave it enough where it, you know, their conscious effort to to uh, leave the body uh, in order for us to show that yeah, it, it was there before and it was back here before, but you know, you know, we we had to cut the vehicle itself or modify the vehicle in order for us to put that seat back there. So it still holds on to tiny bit of space there. Um, and another one of the biggest parts that I sacrificed was this back control. Um, don't really know what this does. Radiator, uh, all the electronics for the guns. I don't know. But of course, that that 
is iconic as well to the vamp and i took that out there's no space back there for that uh the seats are very minimal um and that allows me to be able to put in the, the, those figures with just enough uh leg room um not too sure folks if you if you ever sat on a humvee but they're as big as they are and as wide as they are uh you would think that there would be spacious inside they're they're pretty cramped um the humvees in the uh, the back seat of the humvees they're just super cramped um i'm about 5'11 not not i'm almost six feet with with shoes on but uh it, it's it, there's not too much leg room back there uh it's kind of the same here um he he fits uh he looks okay comfortably uh, probably about after eight hours of sitting in a humvee he's probably gonna be hurting um but that's just goes true to the uh to the situation the later version of uh the combat vehicles the m wraps they have a little bit more spacious room and bucket seats and but even the m wrap that looks like a ginormous vehicle it's it's scaled up um in real life in order for for it to to compact all the uh the mine resistant ambush protected um situation the v-haul everything that makes it uh, the m wrap it's just scaled up um so uh anyways that was, that's my little tangent there um as far as the inside we, we sacrifice that also sacrifice that iconic um dash for the vamp uh this vamp is very minimized as far as the dash is concerned it still has some dials in here uh it has uh controls even a radio back here um, but it, I did minimize the hell out of that. And, it, and of course the steering wheel has got enough space for the steering wheel and the driver dusty here, uh, to be able to hold onto it in a natural pose. Uh, I'm still working on the, uh, the hood here, as you can see. Um, oh, another thing, uh, this vamp itself, if I compare this vamp with my green vamp, uh, it has a way thinner, uh, profile. Um, the vamp itself, if you look at my, the build of my green vamp, my 112 scale green vamp, it, it talks a little bit more of the angles, but one of the biggest things about the vamp is that it has a straight body. And then when it, when it hits this, this line here, um, it starts curving in this curves in just a tiny bit. And you can see that curve, of course, more pronounced in the roll bar. Um, here you don't necessarily have that. I had to sacrifice that particular feature. The roll bar kind of goes along with the contour of the body. So this body is rounded all around. So it, this point here starts curving outward. And then once it hits that midline for the, uh, uh, for this space here, uh, it starts curving inward. So it has a somewhat of a round look to it. Um, and then it continues into the to the roll bar. So it has a thinner silhouette. I'm okay with it. The, the wheels don't stick out too much, uh, too much more. Um, but it still may, it still has somewhat of a look of the vamp. Uh, it's not true to the vamp. Um, I knew I wasn't gonna have a true looking vamp, um, but I did want to get those those visual. Um, those visual cues that that signal to your brain you know hey this is a vamp this is like in keeping with a little bit of the vamp um from the lessons learned from my old 112 scale green uh vamp i know that i i had a lot of space here um as you can see it has somewhat of an angle as far as the vamp is concerned but not that pronounced so i did reinforce this area I added some more material. I used cotton as an aggregate to solidify this. Uh, using cotton with a crazy glue, it makes a really good bond and it's very strong. I mean, is this gonna break? If I hit, hit it hard enough, it probably will, but um, it's holding up pretty tight. So I still need to get some light buckets. Um, this vehicle is gonna have a lot of accessories, a lot of accessories um it's got the metal bumper it's gonna have a winch uh the metal roof rack it's this is a 112 scale roof rack with uh, bungee cords uh, modified from a 112 i had to make a little bit of adjustments for the 
for the uh, length and, and width of this. Um, it has the light bar up front. Um, I'm still debating whether I'm gonna keep this or not. Um, I might just put a, a little bit more of extension of a roll bar back here. Uh, it has the uh, the Sam's the Sam Rocket Pod back here. It has the whole four uh, rockets. I am gonna incorporate a ramp for the Ram cycle back here. It's gonna have those two uh, gas cans back there. Uh, this roof rack is gonna have. Yeah, all the equipment for the four figures is gonna have the four figures in there. So there's a lot of weight to this vehicle. Uh, there's definitely a lot of weight, um, but it's gonna look cool. Uh, it's gonna definitely look cool. Uh, the shots themselves for the base vehicle, for the base RC vehicle, it's that's a little bit of a struggle right now. I'm trying to figure out if I could just put in spacers or I have to upgrade the shocks in order for me to get this height. This height is being assisted right now by this little plastic cup looking guy. But the weight, uh, it's gonna bring it down way too much. It's gonna squish it down. It's gonna start looking like a little low rider. Um, and it's gonna compromise these wheel wells. I don't wanna take off any more material here. I think it's pretty stripped down as far as I wanted to take it um i don't see me adding on any more material back here i'm still contemplating that not too sure because this does have a downward angle um i don't i don't know if my ocd is going to kick in my J joe ocd is going to kick in and it's going to force me to do something about this back uh yeah so anyhow the the shocks is going to be one of those things that i have to do and so I got to figure that out. Um, uh, after that, uh, I'm going to feel a lot better about this design um, once I get those shocks figured out. And then uh, beyond that, it's going to be coming down to the paint job. And as far as the interior is concerned, it's bare bones. It's just four seats. So I don't see putting in anything else in there was considering maybe grid iron, maybe one of those uh, double stack radios. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I have the space in there for it. I think I have plenty going on back here. I think four figures in there would be plenty as far as taking up the space. So it's going to be cramped already. So um, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't necessarily want to add any, any uh, more details into the interior for it to look even more uh, cramped. Uh, it's going to be a busy vehicle. I look forward to showing you more and even look forward even more to showing you the completed uh, the completed product. Uh, hopefully it comes out and um, hopefully it doesn't take as long as it has been because I've been working on this project for nearly two years. So, you know, I work on projects. If you folks don't know me yet, um, I, it's, it's an on and off. I have sometimes, um, I'll say about anywhere between five and seven projects going on at once um, for different reasons. Uh, but yeah, um, this is this is a little bit of the R and D process. I just wanted to show you some of the some of the uh, progress um, and then some of my thoughts on how I'm building this. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna help you folks out. Uh, but remember, when you see final product with customs out there, don't think it's linear. Don't think that it's it's easy. Um, it's it's a struggle. At least it, at least for me, at least for this custom maker, it's a struggle. Um, it's a constant battle between what I want it to look like and what I can work with. Um, it reminds me of sometimes when I had bosses back in the days when I wasn't even in the Marine Corps. It, uh, you know, the higher ups always tell you, this is this is what I want to happen. Right? You could want everything you want. You know, you could tell me everything you want, but I'm going to tell you what I can do. Uh, they they didn't take that news too, too nicely. Uh, needless to say, I pissed off a lot of my bosses, but it's the truth. You know, what we want and what we can do or what's capable, what's... Um, the possibilities uh, they're two different things so we have to kind of like you know uh, find the balance it's always about finding the balance and, and not just this but it work in life and everything everything that we do all right folks uh, sorry about the rant here um but 
hopefully you folks get a little bit of inspiration watching this and maybe uh, helps you out with your customs and if you folks have any questions again let me know i'll try to answer them as quickly as i can uh have fun out there enjoy the process and uh take care of yourselves